Joining me now for our regular panel is broadcaster Craig Foster and New South Wales One Nation leader Tanya Mihalik. Hi to you guys. both. Good to see you. I'm Thank opening you so the show tonight. <laughs> you're on the front of the show tonight. You're on the front. You're <laughs> everywhere. Well, 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 tonight. well look, let's, let's, let's get straight into it, Craig, because, right. uh, okay, so today we found out from FIFA that they're going to seek legal advice yeah. before holding a council meeting by July 25 right. to decide whether to suspend Israel uh, from international soccer, of course, because of the, the Hamas conflict. Now, yeah. you have pushed for FIFA I've to expel it. Israel. You've supported it. Why are you supporting a ban against Israel when there are many other countries guilty of terrible human rights abuses? I'll give you some yeah. examples. Iran, where people are still stoned to death. Yeah. China, which is accused of genocide against exactly. the Uyghur people. Afghanistan, you could be put to death for being homosexual. Shocking. North Korea, which is also accused of horrific human rights abuses. So yeah. why aren't you asking for them to also be banned? That is a really fantastic question, and uh, it's a question that I have to answer every day as a sport and human rights advocate as to where, what is the threshold for sport to have to act in these elements. And they're really great examples that you use because I've advocated against all of them. So, mm -hmm. for example, in the 2020, I think it was 2022 Winter Olympics, mm -hmm. I was calling for athletes to boycott uh, the Beijing Winter Olympics mm -hmm. because of the, the, what has been called genocide against the Uyghurs. The difference with that is that there has not been an ICJ ruling to say that it is genocide or plausible genocide. So I think in that case, and I know it well, mm. because I have supported the Uyghurs, um, what happens is I think um, the USA call it genocide, others call it crimes against humanity, but it hasn't, there hasn't been a ruling on it. When it comes to Afghanistan, obviously I got a lot of women out of Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and I supported last year Cricket Australia's stance in saying that they have gender apartheid, basically, and they don't let women play sport. So I think that they should be banned for sport on that basis. Right. Um, but when it comes to human rights, every single country, including us, has human rights abuses. Mm -hmm. So what sport has to ask is, what is the threshold uh, you know, below which a, a country has to be banned? And so in my view, at the very least, and there's no objective, you know, sport, sport is all over the place mm -hmm. because it's very political, right? It just makes right. it, our own decisions. <laughs> <But, laughs> yeah, <laughs> should It's as political as anything. Yeah. So the question for all of us is, <laughs> yeah. what is the basic premise okay. at which you say, okay, now sport must ban that? And in my view, um, it is the two most egregious crimes against humanity, which yeah. is genocide and is okay. apartheid. But there's been evidence. There's been US reports, for example, about what's going on in Syria. There's been enough evidence to suggest that China is committing genocide against Uyghurs. So I what, agree, what, yes. okay, I totally so if you, agree. So if you do, if you do agree, if yeah. you do agree, exactly. then. Why are you not calling yeah, I, out for them yeah. to be banned as well? China, well, Syria... Well, actually, I have. So, right. so, so you want them banned from the competition? So what I'm saying is, I, I, well, in my personal view, but it hasn't been ruled on. So the answer, as I just said before, is very simple, is that the difference in all the cases that we're saying, all of them that I've advocated against those countries, um, because I see, I see it's a, it's a yeah. duty and but responsibility that's, that's of standards. all of us... It does sound like double no, standards, double doesn't it? How can it be double standards? Because the point is that the International Court of Justice has actually ruled that in Israel there is plausible genocide. That's completely different to the others because the ruling is mm. there. And what that ruling does is that says to sport and to me and to you mm. and to the Australian government mm -hmm. that we have a duty to prevent genocide. Mm -hmm. That's the importance of the okay, Convention okay. Let, well, let, on let, the Prevention let, and let, Punishment let me, of let me genocide. Ask you, let me ask you this then. Yep. North Korea plays Syria in a World Cup qualifier in less than three weeks' time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at North Korea, it's estimated its dictatorship have murdered more than 1.5 million of its own people, possibly up to 3.5 million. Mm. Syria, Syria is accused of using chemical weapons against its own people. Yep. A US government report states that Syrian army bombing has forced 5.7 million people to flee that country, yeah, but indeed. it also reports unlawful killings, torture, political arrest, sexual violence against its own citizens. Now, these are two countries internationally Awful. condemned here, Craig. Exactly. Have you said anything about this game? Will you condemn this match? I have, actually, if you go back through myself, I condemn all of these. Are you going to condemn this one? Are you going to ask I'm a human for this game? But you're going to ask so, for this game, for, these, for North Korea, well, just Syria, China. i the difference to you. So the, the problem is that... Um, and FIFA have the strongest human rights policy in all of international sport. That's why they have to make a decision on Israel, because they're bound under their policy. So people say to me, well, why is the IOC, you know, allowing Israel to play? It's because they don't have as strong a policy. Mm -hmm. and, and the IOC is hardly the arbiter of, you know, of, of, of 
you know, moral integrity. Um, the point with FIFA is they have to actually act on this. And the difference is quite simple. So all of those things, I talk about them regularly. That's, mm -hmm. that's exactly what I do. Right, well, well, but the problem is that here the ICJ have made a ruling. And what that means for FIFA is they have to act. We all have a duty I to act. I just find it interesting, Craig, because you, you call yourself a human rights exactly. activist. Yeah, but so where do you draw the line then? So that, you, well, that's the question. So I'm every, every other country is fine except for Israel, though. Is that is that what you're saying? Okay. You, you okay. are a human rights activist. That's exactly. what you call yourself. Exactly. But yeah. don't you, aren't you presenting double standards? Well, here no, tonight? I'm not. Because what I'm saying is the ICJ has not ruled on those. So, for instance, the, there's only been, as I understand it, in recent times, four rulings on genocide. So it's mm. fundamentally different. Mm. Now. So I want Afghanistan kicked out. I have said that China shouldn't be able to host the Olympics okay. because of the genocide against the Uyghurs. But the problem is the international community has not had a ruling on the Uyghurs. I would love them to have it. I want them to have it. But there is a ruling on Israel. And that okay. is very different. To Craig, Tanya, can I say this, Craig? And yeah. I, I don't have the experience that you have when it comes to, to soccer. Yeah. But I'll say this. Um, you're, you're in a position, you're a multicultural... You know, you're a member of the Multicultural Council, exactly. right? You're trying to work with people from all different backgrounds, exactly. so to speak. Um, what value is it for you to, you know, to intervene in this way? I don't yeah. get why you, as someone who's supposed to be, you know, unifying mm -hmm. uh, person in this game... Great question. Uh, you're supposed to be somebody who's actually stepping in... Um, and actually, you know, uniting people and uniting different groups. Okay. I mean, sport's supposed to bring people together. That was the whole okay. point of sport. And, we'll, and can I say this? The World Cup now has has become bigger than the Olympics, OK? Mm -hmm. And it's not... A, it shouldn't be the place that politics is played out. There's so much well, more... this is human rights. We're talking um, about no, but human there's rights. So We're not talking, well, We're not talking about sport. politics. This is sport, is, sport OK? Sport is this is the World political. Cup. Well, it shouldn't be. Craig. Well, and and it response? shouldn't be for your... Yeah. Uh, and it yeah. shouldn't be... <laughs> yeah. I would have so thought somebody... So anyone who thinks sport is not political... Craig, what's your response to that? I think your question is... So why do I engage myself in this situation? Firstly is because I am involved in the game and therefore I have a duty. Second is because there is a ruling here by the highest court uh, you know, of the United Nations but which says it's plausible you, genocide. I mean, and therefore we all should be... Craig, you're we not a politician, all... you're not a federal politician. I'm just being honest. What does it matter? I, 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 mean, I come from the game. I, you know, so I'll, my quote, game. I'll quote Chris Minns, the Premier. I'm a, yeah, but I'm this a, I'm week a former he said international to his, he for said the game. This, no, let me so say are you this. suggesting I shouldn't be talking no, about my own game? Well, That's ridiculous. The Premier uh, this week said to his backbench, if you want to um, be involved I'm in federal a, politics, go into federal bench. parliament. Not, so okay? Okay? Let's Craig? talk about the issue, right? So what you guys... I mean, what you want to do is attack people for having a view on genocide. But you're not Every just Australian having a view. You're have calling a view for on a genocide. country That's to be the point. Yeah, you're, you're calling, calling for, for a country to be That is the point. Banned. We That's all have a view. duty to stop Somebody the slaughter of Somebody who's a member of, of the multicultural council. And I've been very clear on October 7. I've been very clear in my view of what's happened since, as has the ICJ. And we all have to step forward and say something. So the Let's talk about just quickly we don't about all the multicultural have to, please, issue. No, please. That's really, Craig, really Craig, important. Please. So I support all communities, but what I do is I support international law objectively. I want both sides held accountable for the various war crimes well, that's occurred. Okay, well, let me, I let don't me take ask any you. sides. And in so doing, I stand in solidarity and out of love with every single Australian community. That's but what, what, about the, what about the Australian Jewish, the community? Jewish community? Of course, I, I, I do things. <laughs> a lot of them time. watched you. A lot of them watched you play. <laughs> And they yeah. supported you, and they were proud of you when you played. But what, what's your, so what would be your message have, for them now? Are you alienating? love to the Australian Jewish community, but I have okay. to. But, but you, what I'm saying is, I stand with Israel's all. Banned. All right, well, let me ask on. you this: International law is very clear that we can't support atrocities against anyone. I don't support atrocities on October 7, and I don't support atrocities right. since. This is, well, how you're can calling, that be more okay, simple? Okay. So you're and calling by doing Israel. so, I stand with all Australian communities equally. That is the point right, well, of multiculturalism. All right, you're calling for Israeli ban, but what about Palestine? And by the Hamas, way, I'm, I'm which is, which, loving this conversation. Which is, this is exactly well, the conversation is, we need to have as, well, as a country. Craig, what about Palestine? Hamas controlled. Should they be banned too for the mm. horrors of October 7? Okay. For the slaughter so, of more than 1,000 Jews, for the rape of women, the torture and the capture of more okay. than 200 hostages. Okay which are all war crimes under humanitarian law. Right, so, so should they Palestine need to be, be banned? So they need to be... OK, so let's go back to the start. They are all human rights abuses, right? However, someone needs to take that organisation or those people to the highest court, and if a ruling is given, oh. I will immediately call for them to be banned. Okay. That's the point. Maybe, maybe don't. Maybe don't, Craig. Maybe yeah. don't. And so I the mean... point about... So there's also an international <laughs> criminal court, which is the other, uh, you know, highest uh, court... There's also an investigation since 2014 mm. into all war crimes in the occupied mm. Palestinian territories, including right. yep. 
Hamas. This so is the world. The Cup. Hamas leader will be Soccer, responsible for what football. happened on October okay. 7. And I want that to I, happen. I, I do want to move on to other topics, okay. but I just want to make this very clear. Despite the fact we've got a situation where uh, mm. Syria is accused of chemical weapons against its own people, Iran stoning people to death, Afghanistan, China against the Uyghur population, North Korea, I mean, under mm. Kim Jong-un, you still support... All of them participating in FIFA. No, I didn't say I supported them. I just said I've already called out China over its genocide. But, but banning and I, them. And, and, yeah, I, I actually called for China to be banned from international sport. OK, what about I, the others? You would um, call for them to be banned? Look, as I said, the problem is that every country in the world, including us, mm. commits human rights abuses. Mm. That's actually the underlying problem. That's the, that's the nexus of your question. What mm. you're saying is, what is the standard here? Because well, it's so widespread. Yeah. I get mm. that. There's also a over 100 conflicts in the world. It's just unhelpful right also now, over Craig. I it, think the point listen, is... Listen, it's, it's very unhelpful. helpful. It's very helpful to unhelpful many communities. We need banned. to discuss this when properly. Really we need to discuss this honestly. All right. Um, and Sun all communities also need to be heard. So do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? So what happens is there's over 100 conflicts. So the question for sport is, okay. which all ones right. do you then say... So, so all right, really all right. I want to... We, yeah. we, are, we, are, we are running out of time. Yeah, I think we, we have covered it. But, you know, look, this is a big topic for which we need to discuss, <laughs> Craig. So we appreciate you coming on. But, look, let's no, move on. I'm happy I, to I, discuss it. I'm, I'm delighted to no, discuss it. Like, we, we appreciate your, your, you coming on and, and speaking to us about that.